What is up, guys? My name is Shannon, aka Cosmic Pink. So, welcome back to the Space Hub. So, we're doing something a little different today. I know this is MVH, so you guys are expecting reviews and that sort of stuff. Um, but usually, Matthew's with me, or he's the one doing them. But it's gonna be a little different this time because I reacted to a series called Shelter or Harlan Coben Shelter on Prime Video and it's coming out on august 18th and i got the chance to watch it early and do reactions for it so that's super exciting um so matthew actually didn't watch this with me so it's just it's just me um but yeah so overall i just wanted to, to, to chat with you about it a little bit and you know let you know how i'm feeling if it's worth watching if it's not worth watching uh yeah so let's get into it so shelter is an amazing thriller mystery that keeps the viewers hooked with its twists turns likable and relatable characters and super super original story it is definitely a series that i highly recommend to anybody who loves a good mystery whether they have read the book or not it is a show that keeps you entertained and intrigued from start to finish and y'all it really is i enjoyed that so much it had me super hooked and i just couldn't stop watching it just i just could not stop watching i was so excited to watch this every episode that i was able to watch now i know some of you haven't have might not have heard about this or don't know the story or you know haven't seen the trailer which i definitely think you should watch you know go back and watch the trailer first and then come back here and watch this um, but because it it just goes over everything super well without you know getting too much into it But this will either way this will be a spoiler for your review if you do want to just watch this and don't have time for that but um Yeah, i'm just gonna give you like a, a very brief synopsis Of what to expect getting into it. So based on the novel of the same name harlan coben shelter is a new thriller series on prime video that follows the adventures of mickey bolitar a high school junior who has to deal with the aftermath of his father's death and his mother's rehab with his new crush ashley that disappears mysteriously mickey teams up with his friends spoon and ima to investigate the secrets of their town and their own families along the way they encounter a creepy old woman who claims mickey's father is still alive a sinister mansion that hides a dark history and a conspiracy that could change everything now i need to preface this a little bit i have not read the book so i don't know i can't i can't say anything about the accuracy of the story or any of the stuff involved so i'm i went in completely blind to this just having seen the trailer so i'm just going to give you my opinion of the series based on that alone so i'm just going to go over some some pros and cons that i have found within the show itself first of all i want to talk about the cast because the cast was amazing they're so charismatic and they really draw you into the world they really make you feel for them and, and even the characters you're not even supposed to like they make you feel for them it really brings a lot of life to this world it feels very real it feels very you know homey in a sense um obviously with everything going on it's uh, it's gonna be less homey but however i really found the cast to bring this area to life and speaking of bringing that to life i feel like it really has a good balance of you know this it's a good balanced story you know it has all the mystery it has thriller moments it has comedy there is just a great experience going into it it's you know for those who might not be able to handle like some of the spookier things they have a good balance of non-spooky and you know light-hearted moments to really offset the very dark stuff so i thought that was great and it felt very real so speaking of the story i feel like the show explores all the different themes very well you know there's family there's friendship there's secrets and identity it's really good for a younger audience and by younger i mean like you know teenager age i feel like a lot of like teens will really relate to these characters and even some older viewers might relate to some of the struggles that people in this story are going to be going through 
I think everyone can find someone to relate to and feel for in this story. Lastly, one of my favorite aspects of it is that this show never lets you relax. Like, for real, there's always something being thrown at you no matter what you expect. You're, you're not going to get what you expect. <laughs> there's always something new. There's always something that throws a curveball. There's always going to be something that you're not expecting. And that's really what made it fun for me is just trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Now, with all that being said, I did have a couple of cons. However, this is me being a little bit nitpicky because I didn't really find anything too bad about the show. I really enjoyed it. But if I did have to say something, this would be it. Now, first of all, I feel like when they were portraying information, some of it got a little jumbled for me. You know, I'm the type of person that if a lot of information is being thrown at me, that my brain goes into overload. So some of some episodes, I feel like that happened a little bit, but it does get worked out throughout you know, the episode or, you know, whatever the case may be. I also feel like they were trying to rush a little bit too much in developing certain characters or certain relationships. And they kind of tried to develop it later on and it made it feel a little bit out of place for me. It felt very kind of a little random almost in certain things. It, but although it did kind of try to work it out and, you know, straighten out what they were trying to portray i felt like it was a little bit rushed now on the opposite of that i feel like some episodes were also a little bit slower paced you guys know how shows work they'll have their moments of really fast and a lot of stuff happening and then super slow areas that you're like okay that was only been five minutes all right cool but <laughs> i think this isn't the case for all of the episodes but I feel like some parts might have been a little slower than others, although it didn't fully affect my viewing experience. I think overall, to be honest, it was pretty good paced. And I also have to say this, that I have not finished the last two episodes. I'm still working on that. So by the time you're seeing this, I'm only up to episode six. This is my review based off of that. However, I am super excited to watch the last two episodes. And like I said, I reacted to all of the ones I've done so far up to episode seven. So those will be going up every week as they come out. With all that being said, this is my brief review of Harlan Copen Shelter or Shelter on Prime Video. It's coming out August 18th. So this Friday when you're seeing this. So make sure to check out the show. Make sure to check out the reactions on my channel. And like I said, I really recommend the show to anyone who may or may not have read the books. And like I said, I have not read the books personally, so I don't know the context or I don't know if the story is 100% accurate or lines up. I know there's certain aspects that doesn't line up, like, you know, plot details and stuff like that. But um, the story, I don't know if that fully, I don't know if that fully is accurate. So I can't attest to that, unfortunately. But y'all will let me know in the comments of this and all of the other episodes and my reactions if there's stuff that has been changed or stuff that they did a little different. But I really enjoyed it and I'm still enjoying it. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you're excited for the series or if you already watched the episodes, let me know your thoughts. But keep it spoiler free for those who might not have. But yeah, I think that'll be it for now. So thank you for joining me for this review. And let me know if you want to see more. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out, like I said, MVH for all of the movie reactions we're doing on this channel and make sure to check out my channel for all the reactions to Shelter and all the other stuff that I'm doing over there. But yeah, uh, that'll be it for now. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and check out our Patreon for full reactions up to Shelter and to all the other stuff we're doing on both of our channels. But yeah, that'll be it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!